And we're going to play this uh, now famous clip that's circulating of another witness uh, who is telling us of multiple shooters. She's probably going to go missing soon, just like the Las Vegas witnesses that were talking about multiple shooters. Uh, listen to what uh, this student has to say. Um, I actually was in the bathroom at the moment, and I had came back to my classroom, and I knocked on the door, and the fire alarm went off, and... Um, principal came on the speaker and just said everyone needs to evacuate right now so that's what we did uh as i was going down the stairs i heard a couple shots fired everyone was freaking out saying that it was a gun and um as just before 11 30 this morning several lawmakers were seen carrying one of the victims from the crash site for congressman brad wenstrup it was the second time in a year he had put his army field surgeon training to use last june it was wenstrup who administered first aid to congressman steve scalise when he was severely injured in a shooting there was an eyewitness when I, as soon as i got off the train who was telling me the truck was right on the track it did derail uh, the engine the car you know, it's a car train with an engine on either end so they disconnected the locomotive on the front and uh, take us back to Charlottesville where we're now just boarding buses and I looked out the window to my left and uh, in this field next to the tracks uh, that, that was down probably 20 feet or so you saw garbage all over in the remains of the rear end garbage truck and then as you began to look forward you could see uh, the tractor part of the truck had separated it was a pole there that I think it got blown, uh, whipped around as well. Um, it's just a horrible, horrible tragedy. It was a, a gated crossing, I might add, and right. the gates appeared to be act, uh, in use and were not damaged uh, based on what I saw. Nothing is as it seems, ladies and gentlemen, but here's what we know so far. A few days after Congress approved the release of a damning FISA memo which exposes the deep state, the FBI, Obama, and Hillary, days after that, just about every Republican in Congress suffers an accident, and the details are creepy. Witnesses say the truck was just left on the tracks. The videos show the gates of the railroad crossing were undamaged, which is highly suspicious. In this animation by the deep state mainstream media they try and show the dump truck racing the train beating the gates just before they close but pay attention to the memo pay attention to the timing of the gates they don't close until after the train arrives of course no one has ever seen such a thing in real life but on deep state television anything is possible welcome to the twilight zone and if you're listening to this you Just last week, three different senators. Let's pull, who was it last week? Three different ones. And I said, this is the message being sent. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can now officially say that it's about a 90% chance that the Florida event at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School has killed 17 people and injured over 20 is a deep state false flag operation. We have multiple news reports of credible witnesses saying they saw the supposed shooter unarmed walking down the hall while shooting was going on down the building. And that people were pinned on both exits, being driven up into the third floor, being shot, who witnessed teachers being killed. We have video of the news stations doing the interviews. People shot cell phone footage, but that didn't air from KPRC and others. KHOU, that was there covering baseball, they interviewed people, but it didn't air on the news. The reporter put it out on his Twitter. What did I say a month ago? What did I say last week? What did I say when Matt Bracken, counterterrorism expert, was on? Just what was it, Friday? I said, you watch. The only card the globalists have to derail our nationalism is what's in the WikiLeaks, race war. And just like there was clear, credible evidence that they knew about what happened uh, with the fella a few years ago, the idiot scumbag that went in and shot the nine people at the black church, Dylan Roof, that an event like that is exactly what the globalists would do imminently to try to create racial division in this country and derail the nation and the fact that black unemployment's at record low levels and the rest of it. 
And now you've got all these witnesses we just had on, high school seniors like Jalen Martin and others that say nobody's buying the official story. They had weird SWAT team drills there in the weeks before. The teachers think there's something going on. You've got the police and everybody showing up right as the shooting starts. It's incredible. And then leader of white nationalist group right on time. Most of these things are fed run confirms Florida shooting suspect is member of his organization and that they did paramilitary training together. Just like Oklahoma City was run by the Southern Poverty Law Center and that's where McVeigh was and that was the main white supremacist compound. And it was run by the Southern Poverty Law Center and protected by the ATF and the Clinton-controlled FBI and then Eric Holder, Deputy Attorney General at the time in 1995. Look it up. So I've been telling you, a new Oklahoma City is imminent. Attacks on multicultural schools, primary schools, colleges, churches, federal buildings to make the globalist deep state, the victims, this is the card. And then you saw Michael Hastings' wife, who used to sit as one of the main gophers on the National Security Council under Obama, openly saying a week and a half ago, if you release the memo, there will be giant massacres of liberals by right-wingers. I'm not saying she's involved. I want to know who told her to say that. And then we saw other people say, Chucky Schumer and others, a bunch of them said there's going to be new Oklahoma cities just last week. Three different senators. Let's pull, who was it last week? Three different ones. And I said, this is the message being sent. This is unbelievable. And then right on time, all of this kicks off. So seeing is believing. I've got to get some of the crew over there to go back to Matt Bracken on Friday, because I know we said it a bunch then, and other, there's countless reports where I said, false flag is the only move the globalists had to derail the nation coming together. And it's the only card they've got left after the hurricanes brought us together and after the tax cuts brought us together and after Trump and the Pride for America. Adam Schiff said that an Oklahoma City-style bombing could happen because of FISA memo as well. That's the Daily Caller. February 8th, I mean... It doesn't get any worse when they're on TV with Phil Mudd, who calls himself a proud assholeer on TV, and then says something, they're going to kill the president. Now he breaks down. We've got some more bombshell testimony coming out of Florida. A student at Douglas High School gave an interview saying that there were at least three shooters there at the school. And this comes on the heels of the other uh, footage that I posted for you in a previous video. I'll go ahead and put it on at the end of this one as well. So you've got all of it uh, together in one video. But the student in this video is giving an interview saying that there were three shooters. She says that at first the students weren't panicking because they were in the middle of being put through drills when the shooting started. And so they thought that the shooting was part of the drill. That's what people keep asking. Why are these students not freaked out? Most of them didn't even know that there was a real shooting going on. This is what is used over and over and over. At this point, now that we have multiple students confirming that there were multiple shooters, that there were drills going on, I'm in the false flag bandwagon at this point. Uh, I've jumped on board. This is way bad this was very bad and in a subsequent video i'm going to put up i will go ahead and uh, share with you my thoughts on how the fbi may have already been involved in this from the beginning how this may have actually been uh, part of an fbi operation kids to go outside so they can start shooting up so they shot they start shooting um from the front 
first floor up because there's only two exits in the freshman building so everybody started running to the other exits but that's when the shooter the other shooter started coming up so everybody and then i thank god to this teacher who opened up her door and let all of us in she got shot in the arm trying to open the door and then the other teacher he got shot in the head trying to cut the other students and um it was like an hour like it felt like years waiting for them and then after all that we finally got out and like they started yelling at us to keep focused and to pay attention ahead the army because they didn't want us to see the bodies that they hit in the, the corner they were putting mats over them so we wouldn't see them but there was dust all over the floor from the, like this weird thing they threw in there they were trying to so you think there was more than do you think there was more than one there's shooter? three shooters definitely how terrifying hold on one second now how terrifying it was pretty damn terrifying because we because they, they were pretty much through drills and we all thought this I'll was call a drill. You right back. we thought this was a drill but it wasn't and then we just started hearing the gunshots and it was really terrifying because my class the class that i ran into he started shooting through the door and he came through and he started shooting the cabinets and that's when he shot the teacher and then they started and then he ran back outside to shoot the other teacher who was closing the other door for the kids but he didn't get to close the door and he was just there and so we were all just sushing, sushing each other like shut up just suck it up if you're crying because we're not trying to get shot because he was in the hallway yelling hey hey trying to chill, taunt us and get us to say things trying to get us outside and that's when some other kid like he ran out because he thought it was free but he got shot and then we heard the groaning outside and we couldn't do anything what was so the shooter tell me besides hey hey what was he saying during he wasn't this? doing anything he was legit he just ran up the stairs started shooting and you could see a bunch of kids just going down that way but stopping but they because the other shooter was coming so everybody was training and stuff everybody was trampling each other because they were like hey do you hear that loud, loud banging sound and we all thought it was like some kid joking on the stairwell because they're hollow so you could just hit a stick and it sounds like it but then we all were like oh sh this is real so we all just started running it was really bad now some one student told me that the shooter was wearing a bulletproof vest and a helmet did you see that i saw some other kid he when the other kid who came into the classroom he was wearing some type of thing and like but it was like I tried not, I was like I froze at that moment because you never know because when the gun is like pointed towards you and the thing you don't know what to do and you kind of just like pause and you're just like is this actually going to happen but I felt like he was going after all the teachers because a bunch of teachers got shot and then but and any of the kids who were in the way they got shot there. what happened was the fire fire drill ran so we all thought it was fire we already had a drill today so we're like it's another drill so we don't take it seriously but then uh we hear we hear pop and from the other side of the school we just see the whole school running out so you heard we heard multiple what you believe are multiple gunfire shots yeah and you said there was a drill today of some sort, and because of that, but today it was a normal fire drill like that. Normally, we need one every month, and we were just assuming it's that one. But then a second drill went off in my butt. We just all assumed that it was a normal drill. But as they're walking out, we start hearing like pop shots, and no one seemed to be worried about it because people thought that it was just another like intense drill. They got told us about a drill before where they were going to be shooting blank. So we, we heard the shots like, hey, it's just that drill. Um, I actually was in the bathroom at the moment and I had came back to my classroom and I knocked on the door and the fire alarm went off and the um, principal came on the speaker and just said everyone needs to evacuate right now so that's what we did. Uh, as I was going down the stairs I heard a couple shots fired, everyone was freaking out saying that it was a gun. And um, as we were walking the whole class together, I actually was speaking to the suspect, Nicholas Cruz. And as I was speaking to him, he seemed very, I don't, I don't know what the word I want to say is, but um, he was trouble in middle school. So I kind of joked to him about it and said, I'm surprised you weren't the one who did it. And he just gave me a huh? So, uh, that's really, really what happened. You were walking down the hall. He had already fired at that time. Yes, sir, with him. Weren't you scared? Um, in the moment, I wasn't because there was obviously definitely another shooter involved, but... Oh, you think he was not the only one? No, definitely not. Why do you say that? Um because when shots were fired, I saw him after the fact. So, and the shots were coming from the other part of the building. So there definitely had to be two shooters involved, I believe. That's the first I've heard of that. Did you see any other students who were wounded? 
Um, no, sir. to set bond with your assigned division judge and request a hearing under State v. Arthur. Does anybody know, has he been assigned a division judge yet? Yes, he has, Your Honor. He's been assigned to Judge Shears. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Sir, you're going to be held no bond. All right, let's go to what's happening as we speak in Broward County, just north of Miami there, with a 17-plus dead uh, with uh, Nicholas Cruz uh, talking before the judge. Here it is. How would you like to proceed today? Are you seeking to hold the defendant no bond and a finding of proof evident presumption great? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, you may proceed. Your Honor, the state's relying on the sworn affidavit that the court has been provided as to the 17 counts of first-degree murder um, and the contents of the sworn affidavit by detectives citing um, the actions of the defendant in going to Marjorie Stoneman um, Douglas High School on February 14, 2018 um, with a premeditated design in that he uh, went loaded with an AR-15 rifle. He had uh, additional ammunition with him. Um, during a and shot 17 individuals um, who later died as a result of the gunshot wounds um, and then he um, fled the scene so the state is seeking a no bond hold on the defendant okay defense your honor the defense has no arguments at this time and will defer until further court proceedings we would formally invoke Mr. Cruz's right to remain silent and that notification relates to any law enforcement agencies that are involved in this case, both at a state and federal level. Okay, I've reviewed the probable cause affidavit. Mr. Cruz filed in your case and I find probable cause. I further find the proof of guilt to be evident or the presumption great. Therefore, Mr. Cruz, you're going to be held without bond until further order of the court. This order is without prejudice for you to file a motion to set bond with your assigned division judge and request a hearing under State v. Arthur. Does anybody know, has he been assigned a division judge yet? Yes, he has, Your Honor. He's been assigned to Judge Shears. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Sir, you're going to be held no bond. All right, folks, there you go. Uh, Nicholas Cruz shows up in court zombie-like. We have had multiple clips of eyewitnesses who told local news and national news and Texas news, KPRC, KHOU, you name it, that there were multiple shooters, that they saw him without a gun while the shooting was going on. And KHOU said, this is big, we're going to air it tonight. Never aired it, but the reporter, Matt Muzel, put it out. Then we have more footage of KPRC with a very articulate high school senior, a Hispanic lady, but we don't know her name. I'm guessing she's a senior, saying she's a senior at the school. And they don't show it on the news. Somebody shot an iPhone over the camera saying they trapped us both ends, drove us in, shot the teachers in the head, you name it. So the fact that, and I'm not saying the police are involved. It's a big bureaucracy. But they had drills there. They had Secret Service involved four weeks ago. I've had the witnesses on. We have guests on uh, as well that are students.